three. The Wildcats are clawing through their Big East schedule, but something bigger could be on the horizon. Good morning, welcome to Cherry Hill Nissan Sports Rise. I'm Ron Burke. Nova comes up big again. We'll get to the Wildcats' latest conquest in a few. But first, college basketball. Villanova had five full days of rest between its win over number one ranked UConn and Sunday's home date with Georgetown. In a conference like the Big East, extra rest can go a long way, especially against a team in the Hoyas that already had defeated Duke this season. Former Hawk, Jameer Nelson, now tutoring Nova's Kyle Lowry, enjoying joined the game as he enjoyed his All-Star break. And Randy Ford was feeling it early as he knocks down a deep three here. And then it's Alan Ray from the other side to put Nova up six. But the Wildcats led by just one at halftime. Then in the second with the Hoyas up 35-34. Ray, nothing but. Ray had 20 this game. And later in the second, Hoy is still hanging. Jeff Green back door. And the Hoy is down five about midway through the second. Wildcats answer back. McNarty with a three. Puts Nova up eight. He had 11 points. And now it's Foy sealing it in style with a nice shake and bake. The fries go with that shake. Foy a game high 22 as Nova <laughs> foils Georgetown. 75-65. Phil Andrews has more from the Pavilion. It was Randy Foy who put the finishing touches on Villanova's second 10-game win streak of the season. A 10-point win over Georgetown that kept the Cats perched atop the Big East with an 11-1 conference record. And that was a very good win for us. Um, that was a, um, a second half, I thought, where we really, uh, we really executed on both ends of the floor. Maybe... Um, Maybe one of our best games of the year in terms of uh, just execution, really, really playing smart. Foy and fellow senior Alan Ray were once again their usual selves, combining for 42 points in the victory, the sort of efforts their head coach continues to appreciate. You guys might take that for granted. I think sometimes, I, you know, next year I'm not going to have these two. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get everything I, I, everything I can out of them right now, every game, every minute. Every point, and very, we're very fortunate to have him. It always feels good to shoot the ball well and knock down shots and, but most important, get wins. We're having a great year right now, but, you know, we can't let it get to our heads. we got to still keep working and practice and keep getting better every day. They're doing a great job with the leadership role. You see at the end of the Connecticut game, uh, it's not even so much Al hit the three points. At the end of the game, he comes up with a steal to seal the game. It's those little things that seal the deal that, uh, that they bring to the table. Now, as instrumental as Foy and Ray were, it was Villanova's smallest player, Kyle Lowry. Again, coming up big after the Hoyas pull within two late in the game. You see the toughness out there. You see those plays. But there's a lot of basketball intelligence there <laughs> that, uh, that he brought to Villanova. And um, yeah, that's what good point guards do. Villanova has certainly compiled plenty of gaudy stats en route to this 21-2 start. But it was a little number that stood out against Georgetown. Three, as in three turnovers the entire game. That's incredible for us. For any of you that's followed us, you used to be able to get hurt in the uh, press row there, balls flying. But that, that, I mean, I knew it was good. I didn't know it was that good. By the way, lost in all the impressive numbers that Villanova has been piling up this year is the fact that with this win against Georgetown Sunday here at Villanova, the Cats have now won 17 of their last 18 Big East regular season games. On the main line, I'm Phil Andrews, Comcast Sportsnet. All right, thank you, Phil. Nova faces a, uh, actually not a, but some formidable test leading up to the Big East Tournament. The Wildcats are off until Thursday when they will travel to Cincinnati. Then Sunday, a rematch against UConn in stores, followed by games against St. John's and the Cuse. Thank you, Leslie. Villanova spent last week ranked fourth in the country. Its status figures to improve today when the latest AP poll is released. The Wildcats beat top-ranked UConn last Monday, the number 17 Georgetown Sunday. But head coach Jay Wright is doing his best to keep his players from getting wrapped up into what the numbers say about them. You know, honestly, I would be lying if we don't he we hear it all the time. So you think about it because everybody talks about it around here. So you, as I said, I'd lie to you if I told you I didn't think about it. But what we do because we do think about it is we spend all our time with each other talking about forget about it. You know, we, we got we to gotta worry about Cincinnati now and we can't. 
that's it's such a mythical thing, you know. But we got to admit, everybody talks about it, so it's a challenge for us not to play for those reasons.